Hey guys, this is Ishmael Amte. In recent times, there's been a lot of attacks on drivers, specifically boat drivers, Uber drivers, Yango drivers, and so on. While some, you know, get in their cars um, taken, others getting injured, others, you know, getting their valuables taken, some even end up losing their lives, which is very, very boring. As a driver, there are some few things that you need to implement to at least help with your safety. It might not entirely, you know, have you, you know, um, save that 100%, but at least would be able to help um, in a certain way. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some few points that I personally think um, if you try implementing some of them, you at least will be, you know, safe, not 100%, but it's going to help. So these tips are first one as a driver whenever you intend starting to work it is very important to at least uh, pray i personally believe in prayer and a lot of miracles that do happen especially when you pray so before you start work at least you know within some few minutes you should commit yourself into the hands of your maker before you hit the road it's very important so once that's my first step in there now the next step has to do with um, you being very observant you know when you take somebody um, a rider in your car you totally don't know the person the person is a total stranger you don't know who he or she is and what they are capable of so one way you can um, be very very observant is making sure you pay attention to details so as you drive you keep looking in the um the rear view mirror just you know taking a look at their body language um, their mood how they are you know maybe if they have been having you know phone calls and the rest you try to you know pay attention to all those things because sometimes if it's a bad person the way they behave may make them out for you to be able to uh, note that this person is a bad person so that's another tip in there another tip is try to be a bit engaging or be nice to your riders it is nice to have you know um, a rider on board and you try to engage them in a conversation now this isn't so much necessary always because sometimes some people are not up for a conversation and you can't force them to have a conversation but if um you you know you, you look at a person's uh, body language and a person you think a person is up for a conversation you just start a very nice conversation now if this person had some bad intention probably the way you related to the person is going to um get a person off whatever um you know evil thoughts that he had so that's another way that you can you know implement to help with your um, safety another tip is try as much as possible not to work very late into the night if possible there are some drivers who work late in the night it's good to work late in the night because you can imagine if you go somewhere and you need a car back and no one is working it's going to be very very you know terrible so then but if you are working in the night you have to try as much as possible not to take ride or request to places where you find unsafe for you so then even before going for the um, rider you can phone in and ask please where are you going to just to know where the person is going to on apps like boats you don't get to see where the rider is going to when they request so then the only way to find out is by calling and then finding out on apps like uber you get to see that so that's very cool and if you feel you it's safe for you to go then you can continue to embark on the trip so at least trying to find out where riders are going is not bad but trying to avoid working late into the night if possible and also try as much as possible not to take trips to places you don't find safe just as i said earlier this might not necessarily be in the night but even during daytime you imagine taking a trip to uh, somewhere which is not so familiar bushes around like uh, no activity human activity over there she tell you that this isn't so much a safe place and you wouldn't want to be you know embarking on such a trip so this one thing that you can also implement to help with your safety especially if you find yourself as a driver out there and also pay attention to the names of riders on the app so you can imagine if um, someone is making a request and the person has his name or her name as killer i don't think you might be convinced to go in for such a person sometimes we don't really pay attention to that but it's very important because People describe themselves with names or how they want to, you know, be called and and so on. And it's not just um, normal to have a name killer. Why would you want to have a name killer if um, you don't have any sort of evil thoughts in your mind? So then, 
as a driver, these are some of the things you need to pay attention to the name of the rider. And then also there are instances where um, a rider will make a request. Um, you look at a name, you know that this is a guy's name. You get there, it's a lady. It's the other way around. You get there, it's um, a lady made a request. You get there, it's a guy. It is very important for you to find out and be sure that whoever you're going for is actually the person you should be going for. And you feel safe actually um, taking that person on um, the trip. If you don't feel safe and you feel this is not okay for you, it's, there's no big deal in declining a request and not telling a person you can't embark on the trip. I just simply explain why you feel you can't embark on the trip. It's as simple as that. And then you drive um, away. Instead of maybe getting there, you know very well that this is a guy that requested, but you have a lady coming on board. No one has told you anything and you still want to embark on a trip. In such instance, you never know whatever lies ahead of you and what might happen to you if you continue on such a trip. So then, uh, there's one thing that you can also implement as part of your safety measures, being a driver. Another thing I would say is listen to your instincts. You know, sometimes there's this voice within that you talk to us, whatever something is about to go on wrong. And it's very important to pay attention to this particular voice because you feel within you that hmm, something doesn't feel right, something doesn't look right and the rest. And it's telling you that maybe you shouldn't take this trip. Maybe you shouldn't continue this trip. Maybe um, you should just, you know, end the trip and, and so on. So it is very important to sometimes listen to that instinct within you and yeah, work on it because um, you never know whatever may, you may be feeling is actually serving as like a caution for you not to embark on whatever trip it is so that you don't end up finding um, yourself in danger at the end of the day. So that's another point, a very important point that you need to pay attention to if you find yourself as a driver out there. Another important tip is having a tracking device installed in your car. It is very, very important. Most tracking devices these days has a lot of features. Some allows you to see where your car is in real time. Some even allows you to um, perform certain functions, whether stop your car, stop the engine, record whatever conversation is going inside a car and so on. It is very important to have tracking devices in your car. Imagine your car has been you know, stolen by um, a thief and you don't have a tracking device. Being able to identify or find your car is going to be very difficult. But imagine you had a tracking device in your car. You can reach out to your phone and even control the car. Maybe stop the engine, stop the car, find out where the car is and so on. So it's very important to have a tracking device in your car. Um, if you can, I don't think tracking devices cost so much. So um, considering losing your car to buying a tracking device, which is going to help you, I think you should go or you should look at having a tracking device in your car. So let's say you're on a trip and you feel or you sense danger around, especially with the rider you have aboard. What should you do? I think you should seek for assistance or you should seek for help. How do you go about that? So that's why mostly there are police barriers on roads. In case where you are doesn't seem to have a police barrier, you can use your phone. So there should be numbers that you should try reaching out to when you are in, um, you are in danger. And if you have somebody in your car and you know this person is going to maybe attack you, that you feel within you, this is what is going to happen. You can take your phone out and say you are calling somebody that this is what's going to happen. But what I believe you can do is you can have custom messages saved on your phone where uh, these are emergency messages in case you feel something like this is going to happen. You go ahead to send to um, these people and even if possible, add your GPS coordinates where you are and should in case anything should happen, they, it makes it easier for them to be able to trace you or come to your assistance. So you can have a message that please I need help with this, some of these SOS messages. It's very important to have them custom set on your phone, whatever you feel uh, something is not going on right and you need um, the assistance of someone, you should try sending these messages to them and I'm sure something positive is going to happen out of that. So there you have it. These are some few tips that you can implement as a driver to help you know with your safety, especially if you find yourself as either a boat driver, a younger driver, as well as an Uber driver. These tips are not entirely 100% um, going to guarantee your safety, but at least can help with your safety. So you try as much as possible to be very vigilant when you have riders on board, you pay attention to details you try to engage your riders 
Um, also, you avoid working late at night if possible. You have a tracking device in your car if you can. And then you have these custom SOS messages saved on your phone so that in case of emergencies, you are able to send out these messages. So these are some few tips I have sharing with you. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. So once again, my name is Ishmael Lamte. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.